Camera battery fully charged? Check. Controller seemingly working? Check. I think I'm ready this time. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm gonna start Gusty Glade right away and it is a wind-based gimmick level. And wind in video games is never ever your friend. <laughs> That's pretty much how the level works there, is that you've got this wind blowing you left and right as you go depending on where you are and oh oops <laughs> wanted to throw up there we go what is over here ooh radley Woo! this should definitely make help uh make making the jumps quite a bit easier Woo! like so <laughs> although uh Oh wait, I can like, stick on the edges by doing my super jump. Okay, oh wait, wait I guess I can't. <laughs> That's kind of a problem, in all honesty. Right, grab this. Blah! Oh, it's just a K. Just a K. <laughs> Please don't blow wind. Please don't blow. The wind seems to blow when it's when you're trying to make jumps, so it's like scripted wind, so to speak. I mean, like long jumps, not short jumps like these, excuse me. So it's not as threatening as it initially seems, like the wind's going to pick up here just because I got the long jump, and then it's going to be hindering me in my forward progress here just because... Uh, come on. <laughs> they want me to get across there with Radley, don't they? How do I what? Can I switch the wind direction? Oh, <laughs> well, I can, but that's uh, I gotta jump past the spot to switch it. Dang wind! <laughs> should have tried. Oh wait, I should get Radley immediately. It's probably a, a prize for. Jeez, uh... oh, why do I always do that when I throw a? Not always, but I mean, why do I press the select button to switch characters rather than the A button to actually throw the characters? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I swear I haven't played video games before. <laughs> oh, jeez! Well, guess we'll never know if we need Radley. <laughs> Actually, I probably do need Radley somewhere, knowing th knowing this game and its accessibility to things. Like, it, it, whenever they give you an animal in the level, it's typically to get you up to a bonus area of sorts. But I suppose I should probably play this level as is first and see how far I can get without Radley, Radley I suppose because of this jump right here. <laughs> oh, where's a DK barrel? I could really use a DK barrel. Oh, it's too late because, whoops, because after you hit the midpoint it's going to put me into the cannon so you do indeed need Radley up to that point. Okay. So I'm gonna have to play that first part of the level one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Wind is making my jumps come up a little short. Alright, PKGAM. Pay attention. You can do this. You've done this before when you were like eight years old. <laughs> Pretty sure you can do it now. <laughs> and how did I throw that backwards? I I, I have no clue. Uh, I probably need this because it's at a very inaccessible, ah, cannonball, inaccessible location <laughs> compared to the lower one. Great. <laughs> Gotta jump right at the edge apparently when you're holding the cannonball. I thought I jumped pretty close to the edge, but it wasn't close enough apparently. <laughs> How many lives will I lose on the infamous Gusty Glade? Find out at 11. Uh. Oh shoot, didn't mean to... Well... <laughs> I can't get the cannonball across there. Because I, I can't throw it at anything. Unless there's enemies to get the cannonball on the other side, but... Uh, I'm just gonna do it the way I think it's intended to be done, basically. Alright. I'm gonna kill a bottom one first. Because... Okay, <laughs> that's what I wanted to do before, but eh. Alright, wind. Oh, start blowing again, please, thank you. <laughs> Don't like the jumps when the wind is against me. 
it, it's kind of hard to feel out the distance of your jump when you're not used to the wind shifting direction and this is going to take me a couple passes isn't it well they gave me 40 seconds to do this so that's probably why Ah, oh, there we go. And voila. Not too bad. Still got the other bonus area dealio a little bit later on. Oh no, the shifting wind. <laughs> Good thing for the leaves, otherwise I would not be able to see the wind. Wait, what the heck? Anything down there besides the coin? I don't... Well, there's Donkey Kong Barrel, but I can get that from the other side, right? Yeah. And this jump can be made... Whoa, jeez! <laughs> Wait, what's that? Cause there's... Just want to see if there's anything up there, because... You know, bananas. Oh, boy. <laughs> I jumped the gun there a little bit. <laughs> this is... Oh, gee. oh, wait a second, did I need that? Oh, I did need a barrel there, didn't I? Come to think of it, though, couldn't I just get that with Dixie? Like, if I, I flew with her, with ye ol' uh, helicopter, <laughs> helicopter hair. <laughs> like, you know, like that. Well, I don't need this anymore. So, this is going to be relatively easy to get through, since I can do this the whole way through, unless I take a hit. Maybe what I should be doing actually is using uh, Diddy, just to make sure I have Dixie by that point. I'm gonna leave the DK barrel in case I am able to go back! Uh. Watch the wind this time, PK game. Okay. Now. Wind, go forward. Unless I can just, like, Go like, oh, 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 oh there we go. <laughs> Woo! You can really skip a lot of stuff there. Oh! Do I want the wind to be going or not? Because it seems like the wind is going to hinder me more than anything. But at the same time... <laughs> oh, jeez, I missed it. <laughs> oh, well. That wasn't too bad. Uh, okay, now I gotta get through that with Radley. I might as well not cut because um, I still haven't showed how to get through this properly with Radley, so here we go. I just need to get to, get to that one bonus area, or at least I think that's the only bonus area that's left. I explored the level pretty well, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was the only bonus area I, I, uh, I had to get to. I don't like that wind. <laughs> There's some lag there, that was kind of weird. Uh, at least the wind isn't, doesn't go in sections like this. This is, like, if you're playing this the first time, this would be nerve-wracking, because you're going to be like, okay, when's the wind going to start up again? I don't know. <laughs> is it going to mess up my jump distance and make me fall in the hole or something? You know, that sort of thing, because those jumps aren't hard unless the wind is in play. Okay, I'm going to try and switch the wind direction here. Okay. Oh, come on, really? Is there any way to, like, get this wind... <laughs> How do I do that? Because I need Radley over there, don't I? Unless I can just make it with the, the characters, like just having both characters at once. But it, it seems like it's totally possible to get over there with Radley because of the um, the sign there. You know, that it's that it's indicating that that's the end of the Radley area. And yeah, hmm. So it's it's got to be possible to do, to do it with Radley. It's, it's almost like a puzzle just at that one jump because it seems like the wind changes direction when you get past the edge of the land, but you have to be near the edge of the land in order to make the jump, and yeah, <laughs> that's kind of the issue. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm just going to try and do this jump normally. Well, I can't do that jump normally, it's not high enough. Uh, um. Yeah! 
if I go, like, really, really close to the edge... Ugh, come on. Oh, wait, that works! Yes! Oh, and I just fell, not fell, landed into the bonus barrel by mistake. Alright. Oh, no! Oh, no! Why? Don't touch right on the D-pad, dang it. <laughs> okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Alright, is that, is that the end of the thing? It might be the... Wow, blue balloon? It must have been really hard to get Radley over there, because they gave me a good reward for that. Alright, start select. Let's see if I missed anything. Nope, I am good. So, Kong College I go. Yeah, you said that before. I will save my game. That sounds like a delightful thing to do. 68%. In secret passages. I've been told that before. Are you guys like repeating yourself now or something? I don't I don't know. <laughs> Alright, maybe I'll do one more level. Parachute panic. It is quite literally a uh, parachute level of sorts, and I think there's something right at the start actually, so I'm gonna drift down gently with Dixie. If I remember this level correctly. Yep, 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 boop. Donkey Kong coin right off the bat. And since this is another beehive level, hopefully I will not have any issues with the controller. Hint, hint, game. Alright, this version of Squawks, you can't go upwards, but you can hold up to slow your de descent. So, uh, it's a little bit... I think you have a little bit more control with Dixie, in all honesty. Because she's more maneuverable. But I don't know, it's... I'm gonna do the level as per the gimmick here and at a time it'll cough and lose its flight and drop you like so and yeah those those squawks are like temporary squawks wait a second do you think there is a bonus here because there is a crate up there and there's a wall there and I, I just don't trust walls in this game oh by the way the squawks also cannot cough any eggs out so you actually have to uh, go in between enemies or something like that which is why they don't mind using the yellow zingers here. In fact, I bet that is uh, part of their design idea to show you like that you cannot use squawks to... Oh, jeez, that was a bad time for you to drop me. Like, you can't use squawks to... Um... Uh, what am I... Again, I screwed up. <laughs> you can't use squawks to kill the enemies out. And was that just a hidden passageway or something like that? It certainly looks like it, because it looks like that that's a spot that I was able to jump down from. Anyway, I, I guess I'll find out on a second run if I failed to get everything. <laughs> and I bet I did fail to get everything, knowing this level. Eh? Oh, 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 maybe I should have taken the other route. Oh, well. Whew. I'm a little bit more courageous now, as you can tell, because I'm floating it down quicker. What's over here? I'm kind of... Oh! Because I noticed that there is a gap that I could flutter through. Alright, there's one bonus area, at least. Oh yeah, normal squawks, I'm used to you. Although your sideways speed isn't all that quick. <laughs> Boop. How did we fit through there? I have no clue. <laughs> Looks like some of the monkeys ended up in the foreground, others in the background. Oh, come on. That's just mean. <laughs> it's like you're teasing me with the ability to get through this level with regular squawks. And then you just take it away from me. How cruel. Oh! <laughs> Shouldn't have gotten greedy. I wonder if there's something through those honeycombs to the left. I don't know. But I do know that I have to be careful. Maybe I should be like, oh geez, pushing myself against walls and stuff like that to make sure that I am not missing any holes in the wall or something like that. You know what I'm talking about, because you love hiding stuff in random, obscure areas. And down we go. Um, go, 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 go. <laughs> you can press down to fall a little bit faster if you need to, obviously. Alright, um, hmm, wait, wait, what, what, the, what is that? I see some honey that I can, like, I gotta get up there carefully now. Uh, 
Oh, there is something there. Okay. So... Or at least there might be something here. Okay... Yeah! It's a bonus! Woo! And I can actually spit at things! Well, spit eggs at things. <laughs> I miss the ability to spit eggs at things. Oh, well, that's kind of mean. If you go, like, if you miss a B and then you hit the sign, you're not, you're not gonna be able to finish the level. <laughs> and I noticed that if it wasn't for the TNT barrel, I wouldn't have been able to finish that level. That is very mean setup there, bonus guys. Well, Nintendo. <laughs> DK barrel, if you need it. That is mean. If they, oh, jeez, that's way too precise to be comfortable with. It's. Kind of mean that they make it look like you can take a path that you actually can't take. It makes you feel like that you'll that you're committing to a good path, <laughs> and that was way too risky as well. But it uh, set me up pretty good for the future droppage. Why are these moves so precise? Dang it! <laughs> All right, careful, careful, God. Oh, Arceus. <laughs> Another DK barrel. Thank you, Arceus. <laughs> Triple kill. Um. Oh, maybe they were supposed. To, I was supposed to break that wall. I don't know. Wait, wait. What was that? Oh, rotation barrel. That's it. <laughs> That's interesting. Just a dead end with a coin, or at least it looks like a dead end. Ah! The pressure. It's overwhelming. Just look how precise this is. This is hardcore precision flying here. And then you gotta land onto another Squawks <laughs> before the first Squawks runs out on this sequence. Dang it. That's how precise this sucker is. <laughs> okay, I should probably go down the middle. And there's not much time to get past them. I don't care about the G, <laughs> in all honesty. Go past the go, 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 oh geez. Go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. And I think that's the end of the level, actually. That was the most intense part. Oh yeah, oh shoot, what's that banana? I hope that wasn't anything important, like a bonus area, apparently not. It was probably like a one-up or something like that. Oh, I think I'm done here. That was stressful. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.